models of molecular evolution so in this lecture we'll see p distance and poison method uh, you know to model the molecular evolution so these are uh, alternatively called as substitution models because molecular evolution by is uh, you know uh, through substitution right these are mutation of the nucleotide isn't it one nucleotide changes into another one isn't it so in between there might be several um, you know intervening steps so to know all those things whatever has happened in the past so you need to use the theories of the probability and now probability is part of the mathematics so basically there you need to have very complicated equations to model the evolution it's like a mathematical modeling isn't it of course it is so you need to have certain mathematical equations you know so to to model the evolution so these equations are called model some are really complicated some are really simple so these two are really simple model p distance and poisson model uh, or equations and there are a lot more complicated also that comes in the subsequent uh, talk so what this p distance and poisson is so p distance is basically the the the, the simplest one so p distance is p stands for prop proportion you know proportion means uh, divided with the total isn't it so total sequence length whatever the difference you find divide with the total sequence length is called the proportion of uh, the differences you know so percentage difference right isn't it so p distance means uh, just the number counted what are the dissimilar sites in the stretch we will just see it in the in the short while so evolution distances between the pairs of dna sequences are quite simple to compute as a sum of all base pair differences between the two sequences divided with the total length of the sequence so for example a cat and a human being so if you are looking at one uh, for example uh, cytochrome c oxidase enzyme so the sequence the dna the gene coding for that particular enzyme that particular protein we have one locus right so you sequence it and then uh, let us say it is 1000 base pair is the length of the gene which indeed is not it is really long so out of 1000 let us say that uh, you know percentage differences between these two that means a cat and a human after aligning differs by let us say 10 sites so that means 10 divided by 1000 so that is the p distance between cat and human being are you getting the point so that that's it is very simple observed distance or p distance is just the proportion of differences you know except for very close related sequence the p distance is very inaccurate you know so if you are comparing like human and chimpanzee uh, which is very uh, related sequence it's okay but cat and human itself the p distance is not a, a good method at all so generally all base changes are considered equal you know of course the base changes uh, there are different kind of base changes right transition and transversion and the probability of transition and transversions are not same or none of these are being considered for calculating the p distance so that is why it's inaccurate and insertion deletions the gap penalties are generally given a larger weight than replacement you know substitution the match score versus gap penalty these have got different uh, you know the match in the the algorithms designed for p distance i'm not actually talking much about the algorithms the, the computational method but i'm just giving you what is actually happening inside the core principle of the p distance one good example would be let us say that we have got four animals here drosophila the fly fruit fly pugu pugu is a it's a fish vertebrate who is the most expensive food item you know it is uh, it's basically the puffer fish in japan it's toxic too uh, you need to remove that uh, the venom gland inside the fish before serving but it's an exotic food you know when i was in japan it's it was the most expensive around uh, 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 yongmang yen so that is 40000 yen you know around 20000 rupees just for a very small piece of fugu <laughs> yeah anyway fugu is the second one then then comes mouse and then comes human so you're, you're comparing the sequence this is just one locus okay so you sequence everything one locus and then you align properly then this these numbers are basically nucleotide position so it's just a very small uh, sketch of this uh, uh, gene so it's only having seven nucleotide seven base pair right that is the length if you if you consider mouse and human first five sites are identical 
A A A A A. Second, uh, the sixth and seventh are the only one that differs, mouse and human. So T and A, then A and T. So there are two differences out of seven. So two divided by seven is 0.2857. That is a P distance. I hope it's clear. Now coming to this, this is pretty interesting. This is why it's a triangular kind of thing. This is called distance matrix. So this is triangular because, you know, if you just go check out in your home, if there is a map, uh, not the globe, you know, this is a globe. So usually the globes don't have it. But, you know, if, if you have a geographical map of India or the world, for example, the Indian map, the political or geographical, on the bottom left and bottom right, you can see this kind of matrix of different cities. For example, Mumbai to Delhi, uh, what is a, the kilometer? Kolkata to Madras, Chennai, what is a, uh, the distance? Bengaluru to Chandigarh, what is the distance? All those things are there. So again, the distance matrix is always triangular. Do you know why? The reason is simple. Mumbai to Delhi, the distance is same as Delhi to Mumbai. You know, the vice versa. So now this number two means uh, the distance between human sequence and mouse sequence. There are number. There are only two differences, uh, you know, between human and mouse. Now, mouse and human. So if you if you know if you go, but this is basically human and mouse, right? So mouse and human is also going to be, uh, you know, of course because it doesn't have that uh, human in this, right? So had it had there been a human here, then mouse and human is also going to be number two. So this two will be two here, four will be four here, three will be three here. So this is basically this triangle is going to be a mirror image of the one in the lower uh, part. Are you getting the point? It's exactly mirror image. So it's a redundancy. There is no point in having uh, the redundant information supplied again and again. So that is why distance matrix are triangular shape so how to interpret it's very simple so for example here number five what does that means mouse and drosophila in between mouse and drosophila there are five differences the distance is five so go back here mouse and drosophila right mouse and drosophila if you look here yes this is different second position is again different two third position is same fourth position is different fifth position is different Sixth position is different, while seventh position is same. So there are five differences. That is what this number five means, right? And if you do this same work for the rest of the, uh, you know, the comparison, all these comparisons, of course, you will get this kind of distance matrix. And this distance matrix, you can change that into the P distance by calculating the proportion that is dividing with the total sequence length. So here you can see that. This is the P distance matrix. It's corrected because the total makes sense, right? So divide with the total. So that is called the, the P distance here. The problem with the P distance estimation or the model is that the multiple hits are not being factored. So the multiple hits means same substitution. So whatever the substitution that you're going to get might have been substituted earlier. So, you know, so multiple substitutions at the same site uh, which is quite common in distant relationship and also for rapidly evolving sites so rapidly evolving site means like ITS which we described in the last class right inter, inter uh, genic spacer as well as internally transcribed spacer ITS or IGS all those are very fast evolving and also for distant relationship like if you're looking at the root of the tree of life you will see three domains archaea eubacteria, bacteria and eukaryotes very distant so this is going to be a huge problem. So this P distance needs to be corrected, you know, for uh, accommodating this kind of multiple hits, multiple substitutions, you know. So and also different types of mutation occur at different rates, like transition and transversions are different. And you cannot simply say that, okay, the transition and probability of transversion and transition are same. No, that is wrong. You know, and same proportion of differences may represent much different amount of evolutionary time. It depends on the lineage, you know, so all those things are the problems with that. So, by the way, there is another interesting parallelism in yet another uh, field of uh, 
uh, cancer research nuts and to hit hypothesis of human genetics what is that so you know uh, well of course that means that uh, if you have a faulty allele of the same gene again you are not that troublesome you know like uh, uh, you know so like uh, tumor suppressor gene if you have one copy which is faulty still you are healthy but if your second copy also gets problem double recessive then you are going to develop the cancer like breast cancer you know if if it's in the p53 or brca1 or brca2 all those things are related with that right so that is called two hit hypothesis so basically this multiple substitution at single site means for example sequence one is this it's here a i can see today sequence two is a i see today today means that these two are extended species living species let us say this one is an e coli and this is a vibrio two bacteria and you're getting like this but this a might have been previously a t and before that it's a g and before that it was a c how do you know that so those things that approximations you can do with this model you can convert that this distance into that and this a of the vibrio previously had been c so c into a without any intermediates but this one had e coli has two intermediates g and t so this had three steps while this had only one step all those things you cannot calculate with the, the simple p distance calculator so you need to correct for multiple hits and that is the role of various sub, you know various uh, substitution uh, you know models models of the molecular evolution is all about so uh, observe distance is uh, you know only difference can be observed directly but not the distances right we can only count the number of differences number of base pair differences but exact distance you need to calculate by probabilistic uh, uh, you know mathematical model right so it's basically math modeling right so all distance methods uh, rely on this uh, assumption you know uh, there is a problem with uh, most of the simple models like p distance right? uh, great many substitution models are used for correcting the multiple hits in the nucleotide sequences like Juke Scanter or Kimura 2 parameter or Hasegawa Kishino Yano HKY or generalized time reversible or maximum composite likelihood. All these are fancy names, but it, it, it's actually, you know, mathematical formulas to convert the P distance into the actual distance, you know, using various probabilistic approximations. You know, so evolutionary models are mathematical equations for converting the p distance into the evolutionary distance, the actual distance. Actual, we think it is actual, but we we have no proof that it is actual unless you do a simulation study. So of course the uh, the, the bioinformaticists have done several simulation studies to say to verify that these are actual, these are evolutionary distances. At least the confidence level, the bootstrap values are very high. So it. Can, you can still expect them to refine as the years goes by as the science progresses, right? So all models are time reversible. So that means the actual direction in which this change happened is irrelevant. For example, going back on slide, C to A or A to T, A to C, C to A or A to C, it's the same thing, you know? So uh, only one side is not what is being calculated. It's basically time reversible. You know, so the time uh, you can never see it unless you calibrate the time as well, right? In the phylogeny, so uh, amino acid sequences are infinitely more complicated because only four uh, states are there for the DNA, A, T, G, C. But for amino acids, there are twenty-one uh, amino acids, and it's it becomes really complicated for the amino acid sequence-based phylogenetic re, uh, reconstruction methods, and can take account of different rates of evolution at the site. That is called gamma distribution, the shape parameter of the distribution. So uh, we have already introduced this concept that within one gene, if you look at the sliding window of a uh, codon, you know, triplet codon, so that means that inside one gene, some uh, places, some regions evolve so much faster. Immunology, for example, uh, you know, so in antigen, the antibody uh, determining region are called epitopes. So these epitopes evolve super fast to evade our 
immune uh, system you know like uh, uh, like the uh, spike proteins the epitopes the of the uh, uh, sars cov2 the novel coronavirus it gets evolved super fast so that is why the, the gamma parameter also needs to be taken care of you know and accuracy falls off drastically for highly divergent sequence like the root of tree of life you know so that is the problem for highly divergent sequence so that is why you really need to correct it so another uh, p distance we already introduced so another easiest correction is called poison correction a p distance there is no correction poison correction uh, attempt to correct it using the the simple discrete probabilistic theory probabilistic uh, approximation called poison equation you know so poison distribution as you know we have already introduced this distribution early on this is basically the discrete probabilistic distribution so to model the discrete event that occur spatially or temporally for example the death in uh, a particular island or you know anything that you can say that uh, uh, discrete it just happened like for example the count of uh, count of atoms you know in in a pen for example or in a, in a cube of sugar how many atoms are there you can just count it right one two three four like that avogadro's number like that isn't it so something you, that you can count like mutations in a stretch of dna is a classic example of the discrete probabilistic uh, you know um, uh, distribution so it's a discrete distribution rather than continuous like our uh, you know weight or height is continuous distribution it can take up any virtually any uh, values isn't it so that you can increase by precision the measurement makes sense in uh, continuous distribution but for discrete it doesn't make any sense right you can simply count it so dna substitutions and discrete random variable follow the poisson probability distribution that is why you can use the poisson equation to model uh, to calculate the exact probability of an event happen so based on number of unchanged sites the poisson distribution can be estimated uh, and correct for the sites that have changed multiple times so if uh, uh, the site unchanged site is zero then how so that equation you can first you make the simplest form and then you can substitute to calculate for the unknown probability you can calculate that way so poison distribution have only one parameter that is average number of events per unit time here uh, substitutions per unit time so if you know mutations or substitutions per unit time in uh, the taxa or you can approximate at the same uh, uh, family or genus then you can calculate you can just use the poisson correction you know so earlier we implied that the p is a proportional sites with substitutions equal to the d we are now correcting for the multiple mutation using the poisson correction so uh, you know it's basically any kind of correction has got a formula model means a formula right so the poisson formula is basically p uh, of n that probability of uh, you know having n events to occur is equal to d to the power n d is basically the distance that we already calculated the p distance right that is the d uh, you know the, the the empirical distance multiplied with e the mathematical constant e to the power minus d same d here it's a d this is d and divided by n factorial so this term factorial we introduced that when we discussed about the probability right uh, yes so combination and permutation the equations use this factorial symbol so factorial means like uh, three factorial three factorial means three multiplied by two multiplied by one so all the way up to one so nine factorial means nine multiplied by eight multiplied by seven all the way up to multiplied with one that is what is factorial it's actually very simple right and factorial is the denominator of this equation so uh, as you know that if uh, considering that all sites can mutate so that means the invariable site is none so in that case if n becomes zero you know then uh, you know you can, if you can plug it then e would become minus d right e the n is actually zero so zero factorial is zero so it doesn't actually make any sense here so denominator can be avoided so as this also d to the power n can also be avoided right e to the power d p zero if the n becomes zero that means uh, you know no invariable sites all sites are mutating right so if you plug in then you are going to get e to the power 
minus t and if you can actually rearrange this equation i'm not showing all this rearrangement then if you solve for d that is basically the distance then equal to minus ln ln means natural log you know so minus ln uh, 1 minus p in the bracket 1 minus p so that is the, the formula it's a simplified formula to convert the uh, you know the the distance d into the uh, you know the into the, the this particular the poison character uh, you know the poison correction how to actually uh, you know incorporate poison correction into the d so here the p is the p distance one minus p this p means the, po the uh, you know the distance calculated in early right the p distance the proportion distance here so if you uh, plug in this proportion this p distance then 1 minus p multiply the, the you after calculating 1 minus p you have to calculate the natural logarithm and then the minus of that value is the poisson corrected distance d corrected distance d so it's actually very simple right so this correction gives the d is kind of equal to 1 minus p for small values of p you know so that means uh, less than 0.25 if the the p distance is less than 0.25 that means only a uh, quarter difference between the two sequences. Then you're going to get 0.25, isn't it? You're dividing with the total. Then it's okay. But it's that means that very, very small distance means highly related sequences. It's perfectly fine. Like human and chimp. Poison correction is okay. But if you compare like human and uh, a mouse or a cat, poison correction is not valid. Because if it's beyond 25 percentage differences, then this correction makes no sense. You know, so that is why you need to have other models of more complicated models of molecular evolution.